How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase of this Freightliner Oldie Master rehab truck. So we're gonna be going over this next project, another different project for us that we're happy to showcase for you this week. Uh, this vehicle is gonna be used by the OEM Special Operations Group as a rehab bus. Uh, the bus it features an Onan generator to power the HVAC along with all the outlets and a bunch of the other warning equipment so that the bus can either be running and power everything or be off and have shoreline power also. So taking a look up top, what we brought in is uh, the Technique K90 series and a red-white combination. Uh, we had to fabricate brackets to make sure that the uh, lights are at a 90 degree angle and not shining up to the sky. Then on the grill we put the Technique K60 series. One thing that you'll notice is we put sound off signals blueprint electrical system so that way we're able to control all the lights independently and we're able to, to program the functionality of the vehicle. It helps reduce the wiring that had to be ran throughout the vehicle and allows us a lot of serviceability to the vehicle for future expansion. So looking down the side uh, we've got K60 series up on the front fender, down below in the middle here, and then along the back we have K90 red whites in the top two corners. In the center next to them we have Technique K90 scene lights, and then you can see the majority of the graphics package that we designed for the vehicle to match the mass casualty bus that we did earlier for them. Uh, we also have our vents installed to help bring cool air into the uh, generator compartment along with all the cuts made through the floor to help circulate air. So taking a look at the back, um, we've got Technique K90s across the back, so we've got white combination warning and then the other two are scene lights. Uh, we've got te Technique K60 lights at the bottom for additional warning and then we've done the, the graphics to match the sides. Uh, we've got our Roscoe backup camera mounted up top in replace of where the other one was. So now we've got the awning down. Uh, we've only got it partially deployed just because it's a little windy out. But what the uh, carefree awning is going to allow you to do is uh, extend it out and then you can adjust the pitch and angle of how far it goes out then you can even take the legs out stake them down and have a little bit more of a work area but uh, it's a manual awning so it's got the uh, mechanism to release it and then you're able to uh, make some adjustments to the arms once it's down between the poles and then you're all set gives them plenty of area um, to do any type of outdoor rehab that they're doing or um, hand out water anytime that the elements are going to be in their way. We installed our 6K Onan generator tied into the diesel fuel tank to give them uh, 120 volt power whether the vehicle is running or it is parked. Uh, they also have a shoreline transfer switch so that allows them to give power to all the additional equipment inside. Taking a look at the back, we tied in all the 110 lighting and 12 volt lighting that they installed. Uh, we replaced both air conditioning units with brand new Dometic air conditioning units. And then we also modified the floor to give them access to the fuel tank. So taking a look at the front, um, we repurposed the existing 110 volt distribution panel. We brought our battery charger, our own end generator controller. We have our blueprint controller with our siren functions. And we have our 12 volt switch panel. We also replaced the old backup camera with a new Roscoe. We installed an ignition security system to make sure that the vehicle can idle safely with the keys out of it. Checking out our latest build showcase. We're really happy with the way that the project turned out. We hope that the customer enjoys the project and we look forward to bringing you guys some different projects in the coming months. If you have any questions about this project or another project that you'd like to help have us help you out with, please give us a call, shoot us an email, please feel free to reach out to us on any of our social media accounts.